Alrighty, boys and girls, we have a massive lower body max day today. We hit our top single at 365 pounds at a body weight of 145, or also known as 2.52 times body weight. Let's go. I was so happy with how this moved. Um, what you'll see there with that little shift is I didn't think I was sitting far enough into the bench, so I decided I would squat further into it, to be honest. <laughs> That's kind of just why I did it. Then we moved on to our 4x3, which you are seeing the first and second set of. First set was 315, and then we moved on to 325 for the final three sets of the 4x3. Moved extremely well. I was very happy with it. I was My hips were fried after that top single, but I pushed through and hit these pretty heavy. Um, if I was a little fresher, I probably could have hit more, but, you know, oh well. Not going to be too mad about it. Then we moved on to a 4x2 with deadlift. Um, this was the fourth set. I went 315, 325, 335, and then this set was 345. These moved extremely well. Form didn't really break down much at all. I was really happy with it. Then we moved on to some hip work um, just to kind of work some stabilization and get some blood into the hips. So I hit these wall sits at seven sets for 30 seconds, each set, one rep, obviously. And so I did these for 30 seconds with a 45-pound plate on my lap. And then what didn't record was a 3 by 20 of abductors and adductors. I forgot to record them. My bad. I was just kind of wanting to get out of the gym at this point. I wanted food. I was hungry. All right, boys and girls, let's hop into this lower body recovery day. So we hit these earthquake bar squats at about 60%, which brings it to about 215 based on my 365 box squat earlier this week. Um, it was a 6 by 2 As we go through this program, the percentage will jump ever so slightly, and the reps will drop just to obviously balance out. I won't be going anywhere over um, 70% just to manage the fatigue and manage the load properly over time throughout the peak of this eight week program so you saw sets one three and five if i remember correctly these are slow controlled and felt great on the hips we moved on to our bracing deadlifts. Again, also at about that 50 to 70% range, slowly building up throughout the eight week cycle. Really just trying to build an absolute strongest brace possible. Obviously do these belt lifts. Just trying to build the brace off the floor. Also a six by two. I moved on to this movement. I haven't done these in a really long time. So I take a sumo stance, and you're going to set the rope as low as it goes. And you're just going to drive through the hips as hard as you can, squeezing at the top. I did these for, I think, four sets of 8 to 12. Not going super heavy, just going through the motion. But the squeeze at the end is a killer. Then we moved on to our hip adductors and abductors. All were three sets of 20. You guys know the drill. These are just really to get the blood flowing into the hips, create some tension, but also not overload them. These are a staple three days a week in my programming. I've been really stressing the joint training. It's going heavier on my power and my max days. I really need the joint training to be done on these lighter days here. It really will help you. It'll bulletproof your joints, and that's how you're going to stay safe and injury-free. The more you focus on the joints, the stronger your stabilizers will be, the less shaky you'll be, the less chance of form breakdown. And guys, on your max days, as soon as you start to feel a form breakdown, cut it. There's no reason to... Alrighty, boys and girls, let's hop into this. So we had our max upper body day today. 
and we decided we were going to hit Spoto Press. So we hit a top single at 225 pounds on Spoto, moved very well. Then we hit a 3x3. Three three. Uh, we went 185, 195, and then this 205 shown moved extremely well. I was very happy with how this went. Then we moved on to our accessory work, a 3x4 on close grip. We hit 170, 175, 180. Again, moved extremely well. Then we moved on to our actual accessory work, and we hit these straight arm pull downs. Sorry for the bad camera angle. These we hit for four sets of 8 to 12. With about one to two reps left in the tank. Then we moved on to these cable rows. I love this machine because I'm able to get my hands just outside my body and really drive my elbows back and really feel a huge contraction in the lat. Hit these for three sets of eight to 12. Then we moved on to our rear delt row. Hit these for three sets of 15. Rear delt, in my opinion, is the most neglected head on the deltoid. So I try to do as much of it as I possibly can. Not to mention rotator cuff health. Alrighty, boys and girls, let's hop into our upper body recovery day that we did today. So we started out with a 6x2 on Earthquake Bars Bench. We did this at 165. It moved extremely well. I moved my grip out a little bit to about the grip that I hit when I had hit my 280 pound bench max a while back. Everything moved really well. It felt pretty smooth. And then we moved on to our accessories. Just really on these accessories, just trying to get as much blood into the used muscles as possible from yesterday. So we started out with a 3x25 on rope tricep pushdowns. Like I said, really just trying to force a, an extreme amount of blood into the muscle. Going super, super light. Just going through the range of motion, really getting a good contraction. Really just pushing in the blood to both the bicep on the flex at the bottom or at the top into the flex at the bottom on the tricep. Then we moved on to our T raises on the Good Morning machine. On the, uh, yeah, the Good Morning machine. Can't talk today. Um, that was for three sets of 20. Really try to pull your shoulders down and back. Really feel the major contraction of pulling those shoulders together. Your shoulder blades, I should say, together behind you. Then we moved on to our Y raises. Same thing essentially, just off to about a 45 degree angle instead of straight out to your sides really feel the retraction of the scapula on those ones then we moved on to our eye raises we did those again for three sets of 20 all three of these i try to do two or three times a week at three sets of 20 i feel like your shoulder health is some of the most important thing. Alrighty, boys and girls, here is our power lower body day. We hit six box squat singles at 345 pounds. And as you will see by, I think these are one, three, and six shown, this flew. This is the best squat has ever felt in my entire life. And I couldn't be happier, as you can tell in my voice. Now, as you'll see, I moved on to deadlifts right after these, and it didn't go as according to planned. I hit six singles, the first two, which you will see. The first one is 345, and then third, fourth, and fifth, and sixth. We're at 315 because deadlift just wasn't feeling that great. I'm probably going to be deloading from deadlifts just to give my CNS a small break off of the deadlifts. I haven't been feeling that great the last few days I've deadlifted, so... You'll probably see a little bit less deadlifts from me. Then we hit these hip thrusts at three sets of six at 315 to finish it off. Love this movement. Honestly. Alrighty, boys and girls, here is our power bench day from today. We hit six singles. The first three were at 210, which are the first three videos here. And then we moved on to two singles at 215. And the final single 
the big boy of the day was at 220 and it moved way better than 220 did last week extremely happy with it overall this week was overall heavier than the last week previous then we moved on to a five by four at 185 again overall heavier than last week as well extremely extremely happy with how today went then we moved on to accessories i hit a five by eight on these straight arm pull downs absolutely love this movement this will build a big bench without a doubt then our second accessory movement was this superset that you will see here tricep push downs and bicep curls with the rope for four sets of 12. now i don't do a lot of these i try to put them in at least once a week i get a lot of tricep work from my bench work um the bicep work is really just to help stabilize at the bottom or on the way down in the eccentric of the bench press so you have to do a little bit of it but i don't do a lot of it due to the amount of bicep work that i get throughout my rows inadvertently but this was a really nice superset i do love su this exact type of superset and then we moved on to the seal rows for five sets of eight really trying to feel that stretch at the bottom pull big bring that chest up really feel the contraction at the back end of the movement that was supposed to be a five by eight i think the last rep cut off and then we moved on to these seated face pulls or rear delt rows and i did these for four sets of 12. this is an absolutely amazing movement i love it 